Danko was one of them, and he was young and handsome. Handsome people are always courageous. And he said to his comrades, Stones are not to be removed by thinking. He who does naught will come to naught. Why should we exhaust our energies thinking and brooding? Arise! Let us go through the forest until we come out at the other end. After all, it must have an end. Everything has an end. Come, let us set forth. They looked at him and saw that he was the best man among them, for his eyes were aglow with life and strength. Lead us, they said, and he led them. Captain, a difficult stretch ahead. Should we go around? 
<laughs> a difficult stretch, you say? <laughs> we'll manage. We can't afford to lose a whole day. We might lose a lot more if it's as bad as it looks. My crew has been through a lot worse than that. <laughs> and they can certainly manage that little patch of ice. <laughs> but, sir, isn't it better to avoid difficulties altogether if we can? Are you suggesting I shouldn't have faith in my crew? It's not about trust, sir. It's about common sense. And do you think it makes common sense to navigate the Arctic for 20 years in a Can't row? Can't you see there is real danger up ahead? Are you losing your courage? Have you been testing your rod again? Don't you know it's not the rod, it's the dowser? Ah, uh, just go to your cabin. You'll be safe there. This is insane. A divining rod. A stick. It doesn't matter what kind, it's immaterial. What matters is you. You just need to tell yourself to find water. Send this thought to the rod, and that's it. It works best when you can wander around fields and forests by yourself, letting your senses take over. But when you're followed by a crowd, finding water can be difficult. For this reason, many expert dowsers search for water secretly, at odd hours, in order to get the privacy they need. <laughs> 